All right, so excuse the dirty paw prints, but I am coming back with another sewing project, finally. So I have this crinkle chiffon. I just washed it because it smelled funny. Um, I was gonna try to work on this yesterday to start like a kind of chemise underlayer to use under things. Um, but I thought it would be good for like both fantasy-ish and maybe Renaissance looking things. So, um, it smelled funny yesterday when I pulled it out and I wanted to go ahead and just use it without washing it, but I had to wash it because it smelled funny. But it's really a beautiful gray chiffon and it has this crinkle like texture in it. Like it's not lines. It's like an actual crinkly kind of texture, but it's kind of pretty. It's probably a polyester. Um, I originally bought it because I think I wanted to use it in the Just Breathe dress, and I thought it was going to be uh, just slightly gray, but it ended up being too dark of a gray to use for that project. I didn't think it would work, so I'm going to try to turn it into something like this. My cat walked on it already. Um, one thing I've worked on... Last week was what I thought would be a shawl. If you are proficient in knitting, can you please explain to me? I thought I was decent at knitting and knew how to make shapes. But what I did is I cast on, actually I cast on on this edge. I'm just gonna show you real quick. I cast on at this edge and in my mind, so I started off with five stitches and then I put the two markers so I knew exactly where to add a stitch on each side of the center stitch to make it bigger. I thought I was, I thought this would make a perfect knitted triangle shape. Um, but I cast it off this morning and I'm like, it felt like there was a lot in the middle area, but I still felt like it was going to be a triangular shape, but I cast it off and it's a square. Can someone explain to me why this happened? Because I'm really confused. I thought I knew how to shape things. And I was like, okay, if I start at a corner and every other row I add, I do yarn overs to um, create more um, stitches. Like I add a stitch. Um, uh, so every other row I was adding two stitches on each side of the middle stitch. Um... And it, I thought it would make a triangle, and I'm really just confused, but it's a square. It's not the triangular shawl that I wanted it to be. However, I think it will be decent for a kitten blanket. So it won't go unused, and the striping and coloring, I think, looks nice. But I just don't... I was adding two stitches every other row, and I thought it was going to make... A triangle and I made a square so confusing okay I'm gonna move back on to making well attempting to make this drawing out of this like a chemise kind of layer and I've also been using a drop spindle I think I've gotten a little bit more consistent and uh, I think it'll be usable yarn but it's not going to be like the most consistent thing. I'm probably going to knit some kind of hood, I think. All right, so back to this project. Um, my plan is to dig up my kirtle pattern that I drafted for myself. Um, I'll make it slightly bigger, I think. And I'm going to have it gathered at the neckline a little bit to probably some type of tape where I might make a, a bias kind of type tape out of this to sew the gathers to. So I plan on having some gathers around the neckline and just having a front and a back for the main body. Um, so I'll probably cut it on the center fold and angle the skirt out like this when I cut it. Just do a front and back and then do some voluminous uh, gathered sleeves. Okay, so my kirtle pattern was like on top of my sewing books. Uh, <laughs> it's not as organized as it has been, but at least it's up on shelves. Uh, this 
is where I keep my sewing and bo sewing book inspirations right here. Uh, so I really need to or clean up these shelves again. Oh goodness. Um, but yeah, those are my sewing books and some inspiration. I have a, a vintage Lady Godi or antique Lady Godi book, which is really cool from 1863. Uh, House of Worth for some inspiration, you know. Oh yeah, and deodorant, very convenient. It was right up on top of those books where I could grab it, so it's easy to find. So I'm gonna cut a front and a back. I'm going to use this as a center front and not include the curve in it. Um, the curve is basically to shape closely to my body, but I'm probably gonna take it out just a little bit and just cut straight down. So, uh, well, that'll be on the fold, so I'll probably like scooch it back till it's a straight line with a little excess. And then this is the sleeve pattern I have drafted with cues for curdles. Uh, I would have to make it wider for more volume, but I could cut around it as like a base, sort of. Why? Why? Kitten. Oh my gosh. So the chiffon is extremely slidey and hard to like get it to stay, but I sort of clipped the beginning of the sides together and at the shoulders. So I'm going to sew the shoulders and then down the sides on each side. <laughs> 